Hey everybody, welcome back to Inspired Dishes. Today I will be making a homemade version of Hamburger Helper. I'm going to be using ground turkey. If you have ground beef, you can use that. But I have some oil, canola oil. You can use any type of, you know, cooking oil. But you need this if you're going to make turkey, if you're going to use the turkey burger. If you just use regular ground beef, you don't need the oil because it makes its own juice. I will be using this for my noodles, the large seashells. Um, you can pretty much use any noodles you want to use. I'm not going to use the whole box. You can use milk. I didn't have milk, but I had the vanilla almond milk. And I didn't really want my milk to taste like vanilla. So, I'm just going to be using the heavy whipping cream. I already had this. But if you have regular milk, use some of that. To season it, I will be using my complete seasoning. My garlic salt. I had the sucker bone because it's been a while since I had this. I will be using my mac and cheese blend. I just wanted mainly of that cheddar cheese color. Yeah, what's the shire sauce? I seen this on somebody's video. They use some of this in their sauce. I said, hmm, it should, probably should be good. So I'm that's why I'm gonna be using that. I've diced up onions, red bell peppers, and those are jalapeno. I have them diced up. Usually I saute them first, but since I'm going to be cooking the ground turkey, I'm gonna be sauteing it with the ground turkey. So yeah, that's about it. Let's get started. Put a little bit of oil. You know, ground turkey is kind of hard, huh? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to start chopping it now. Okay, I'm going to season it now. I'm going to put in my badaya. Let's put you a little bit in there, some in there. Probably like a tablespoon. And that's like half a teaspoon. I'm just going to mix it up. It's still cooking. Usually you're supposed to drain it. However, since it's ground turkey, it don't have that much oil in it. So I'm just going to keep it because you still need, I'm still going to be adding some more um, liquid. So I'm just going to keep it. But if you're using ground beef, yeah, drain it. It's going to be really oily. I'm going to pour a tablespoon of the Worcestershire sauce. Like a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. It's still on medium heat. All right, now I'm gonna add in my water, probably like a cup. As well as my heavy whipping cream, that's like three fourths cup. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my noodles, just one cup. And this is half a cup. Might put a little bit more noodle to make that cup. So it's going to be a total of two cups. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Like another half a cup should be good. So that was like, what, a total of one and a half cups. Still on medium, but I'm going to turn it up just a teensy bit. So it's on medium high, but it's just a teensy bit. <coughs> At the last minute, I decided to put in bay leaves, two bay leaves. I just know it's going to last a nice aroma. <laughs> I'm just going to let that simmer. Okay. See how it's almost bowed, but it's not quite. So I tasted it a little bit. It's, it's good, but it still needs a little bit more seasoning for me. So I'm going to add a little bit more garlic powder. And also, this, I'm going to add this at the last minute, the chili powder. For a little kick, even though I added in the jalapenos, I don't too much taste the spiciness. And you know I don't really want to risk it. That's why I've been cutting it up so finely and stuff. Like a teaspoon of each should be good. I'm going to stir it up and see how it tastes. Oh, yeah, I gotta be careful too because of this bay leaf in here. Push on my side and the other one I think on this side. I knew this look al dente, but I'm gonna taste it just to make sure. And I know like it's uncooked pasta. The water box soaked up. I'm gonna take bay leaf out. Alright, the juice is pretty much the al dente. And it season up good. I'm gonna add in my cheese now. We're just gonna let the heat from the stove melt the cheese. Y'all can already see now I'm gonna need more cheese. I told y'all a little cheese of mine. See how it's melting and the stove is already off? Just letting the heat do its job. Ooh, this looks so good. <laughs> Hamburger help you ain't got nothing on me. 
on the shelves. <laughs> you ain't got no homemade. <laughs> yes. Can't tell this ain't a real thing. And yes, y'all, yes. When I say this is like, but better? Yes, I'm better ready to eat. You see me prepare, not even to see me eat it. <laughs> when I say this looks so good, oh my goodness. I got everything on here, y'all. I ain't doing no talk right now. It got like some of the meat inside the shells. Girl. Did you get the direct ingredients from the hamburger helper manufacturer? Because you did your thing. When I say this tastes just like the real thing, but the only thing is it's more meatier. It have because you know they kind of like skimpy with the thing. But when you make it yourself, you can add more and less. That bay leaf, I think it did add like more of a extra taste to it. It's really good. If you seen the now make turkey burger, I think it was with the one with the pizza. The taco Bell pizza and it was another one I did. That meat didn't really come out how I wanted it to be like ground ground meat. But I think well, this meat actually came out good, like grounded. I don't know, I need to check to see what I put the stove on for that video with the taco because I had it on, well I don't know if it was lower this time, but that meat came out good. It sounded like real, real grounded. And I didn't think that was gonna happen. Oh yeah, I like to use these shells too. Mainly for my macaroni and cheese. I don't know, I just like, there's no difference in noodles like ever. I just like these noodles on my macaroni and cheese and I had them. So I said, why not make these with my hamburger helper? I was just too what got me to actually think about this. A few, a few months ago, I was cooking for my nieces. I had ground turkey meat and I had noodles, but I had spaghetti noodles. So I said, okay, let me make some spaghetti. So I looked in the refrigerator and there was no sauce. I'm like, oh, so. I said, what kind of sauce can I make? And I had cheese and I had milk. So I said, you know, I'll just make some cheese sauce and they'll be happy with that. As long as it got meat, it got the noodles. They were licking the bowl. <laughs> they probably weren't doing it on it, but it was like, they were tearing that food. So I tasted it. When I tasted it, it was good. I said, you know what this reminds me of? Hamburger Helper, except for it's with spaghetti noodles instead of, you know, the regular noodles for the Hamburger Helper. So I said, hmm, I can make some home, homemade Hamburger Helper. I finally did it. And I'm not disappointed. One bit started just right, and I'm glad I added on the extra season. I'm not gonna rate it because you already know when I don't rate it, what it is. It is what it is. So yeah, please go ahead and try this recipe out. It's so simple. I say if you want to use the ground beef, you can, but just make sure you drain it. A lot of my cooking too. It's not a lot of measurements. I just try to like off of what measurement it might be so it might not be the exact measurement oh she said a, a cup and a half and it might not be exact cup and a half so just eyeball it and just look at it and stuff like that let me you'll know you can know if something's too much water too much too saucy believe me you'll know so that's it i'm about to get into this y'all <laughs> enough for talking y'all make sure i have a blessed day